everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your new shot. And man, a dandy at that, as we've heard it all before. Oh, yes, well, it won't happen in the United States. However, it is happening in China. Well, God forbid the United States lose any ground on China when it comes to technology, right? MIT Technology Review recently reported first human embryos have been edited in the U.S. All I can see is Star Trek II and Captain Kirk yelling, Con! I mean, that's where we are, is genetically engineered intellect. We are there. We can generate now cons, superior human beings, which is, you know, I know what they say. Well, it's just the first one. It's going to take time. No, it's not. CRISPR-9 technology has been around for a very, very, very long time. And it's not going to be that long. As a matter of fact, I think they can probably start doing this now and generating human chimeras, clones. They can generate or eliminate disease out of... And there's some good things to be had out of this, by the way. It could be used uh, to the benefit of humanity... But again, just like in prior news shots, I've said, the road to hell is paved by good intentions. And technology has always been used to take advantage of us. Every single time. Yeah, you might have your crumbs of good things that come about. And there's been a lot of things that come about, actually, that's good. Take a look at the Internet, for example. The Internet has totally revolutionized communication and networking. Like never before, we can communicate and we have instant access to information to anything we need to know anywhere at any time. It's an amazing thing. However, technology has also really been to the human, the detriment of humanity as well. We can look at the atomic bomb, for example, or all these nuclear power plants that just pollute the crap out of our planet. When, you know, it's like Einstein said, Oh, you picked a hell of a way to boil water. Yeah. MIT Technology Review writes, The first known attempt at creating genetically modified human embryos in the United States has been carried out by a team of researchers in Portland, Oregon. The, effect le- the effort led by uh, Shokrat uh, Mitalipov of Oregon Health and Science University involved changing the DNA of a large number of one-cell embryos with the gene editing technique CRISPR, according to people familiar with the scientific results. And until now, American scientists have watched with a combination of awe and envy at some, and some alarm as scientists elsewhere were first to explore the controversial practice. To date, the three previous reports of editing human embryos were all published by scientists in <clears throat> China. Now it's believed that Mita Lipoff uh, has broken new ground, both in the number of embryos experimented upon, and by demonstrating that it's possible to safely and efficiently correct defective genes that cause inherited diseases. Although none of the embryos were allowed to develop for more than a few days, and there were never any inten- of course, there were never any intentions of implanting them into a womb, yet, I will add that, the experiments are a milestone on what may prove to be an inevitable journey towards the birth of the first genetically modified humans. Duh. In altering the DNA code of human embryos, the objective of scientists is to show that they can eradicate or correct genes that cause inherited diseases, like, for example, uh, sickle cell anemia. The process is termed germline engineering because any genetically modified child would then pass the changes onto the subsequent generations via their own germ cells, the egg and sperm. Some critics say germline experiments could open the floodgates to a brave new world of designer babies engineered with genetic enhancements, a prospect bitterly opposed by a range of religious organizations, civil society groups, and biotech companies, and me. And the U.S. intelligence community last year called CRISPR a potential weapon of mass destruction. Not potential, folks. It is a weapon of mass destruction. Again, just like we'll just use atomic uh, energy, right? You can use it for destruction, And you can use it for power. Dirty power, but power nonetheless. And this is no different. We could use CRISPR technology to eradicate 
Down syndrome. What a wonderful thing that would be to be able to eradicate disease and then make sure that it's not passed down. But they are very right in saying that we risk going down the brave new world route because now you can genetically engineer classes of humans to suit the needs of society. So you'd have your slave class, you'd have your middle class or your operators, you'd have your ultra class, you know, your high class. All of this stuff can be engineered and you can engineer any sort of desire to rebel out. And it only gets worse with time because as they perfect this technology, my friends, it gives you little to no control over the whole process. And pretty soon with sperm counts plummeting in the West, with birth rates plummeting all over the world in first world countries, this will soon be a viable solution and marketed as such to fix the population issue because very soon within a generation my friends crisis crises will arise all over the world where there's too many old people and not enough young people to support them and they'll have to start generating these human beings that can handle the stress handle the responsibility I'm Joe Joseph this was the daily sheeple.com's news shot feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day.